Hello and welcome to an Everyday Canines video. In this series we're looking at the Kennel Club Good Citizen Dog Scheme and we're looking at puppy level. We're on to exercise eight which is positions and when we talk about positions we're talking about your sit, your down and your stand which is your basic positions that if you think about from obedience that would be the positions that they would adopt in obedience but um, certainly the sit down and stand are useful position to have in everyday life. We can use the sit for asking our dog to wait when we're giving them food or at doors. The down is handy if we need them to perhaps lay on a bed while we've got guests around. And the stand is handy if we want them to stand up so we can examine them because we need to check over them, groom them, etc. So when you're doing these exercises, you're allowed to have any reasonable incentive to get your dog to do these. Now, th that's a gray area, isn't it? Reasonable, what's a reasonable incentive? To me, that would be, you can have a treat and you could potentially lure them down. As I said in previous exercises, I prefer my dogs to be able to do this without a treat on their nose luring them down. However, at a puppy level, and if you're a new puppy owner, that is something that you will probably be allowed to do. Your, your instructor will guide you on that. Um, you can also assist them into the position. However, I wouldn't want to see anybody manhandling their dog into a position by pressing on them or pulling their legs down. There's not need for that. If the dog can't get into the position using a lure or by being asked to do it, then you shouldn't have to force them into the position. Same being, I wouldn't expect to see anybody yanking on a collar to get them to dog to sit or do anything like that. We don't need that in this day and age. So we want our positions. The dog doesn't have to hold the position. It just has to do them for a split second just to demonstrate it can. So this is not about the dog going into a down and holding a down for a minute or something like that. It is just demonstration that when asked to, the dog can do that position. Again, ultimately, if we ask a dog for a position, we want them to stay in that position but that's another level on this exercise. Now, I can show you in my guys that I actually work all my basic positions to be, for them to be able to do them on both purely a verbal cue and purely a hand signal. So at this point in time, if I say sit, Magpie's already sitting, sit. Thank you, Swift. Obviously they're already in the position, but that does not have to be you. This is just the, what I do with my dogs. We could do it something like this. So. Say I'm doing this, I'm getting very new to obedience, I'm getting my dog ready. I'm not looking, I do prefer a dog not to have to have a treat on its nose to do the exercise, but supposing it works well to a hand signal, we can do that. Good. And use the cue as well. Okay, so ready? See what happens when I've got a treat in my hand, she starts getting really bouncy. Whereas if I just hold this back and say sit. So... There is a reason why I don't like lures in my hand. I will. The first session I had with her training sits, downs, etc. Yes, I used a lure, but literally the first session, and I very quickly removed it um, by having it first in my opposite hand and giving from the opposite hand, and then having it. I could have it in a pocket or whatever. I mean, I've got it in my hand today because I haven't got anything on me. Right. So let's do this again. So we're going to start by going into a sit. You got your leg caught, lovely. We're on a lead because we're doing these all on a lead. We can pick any position we want to start with. We can do them in any order. But the sit is a nice one to begin with. It's usually the first thing people teach. So ladies, can we get out of the way? I know you're all going to do it. Thank you, I know. It's a beautiful demonstration. If you ladies sit there. Wait, magpie? So pretend I'm doing this with a, I'm going to have it in that hand. And sit. Good girl. We've got our sit. So now we're going to go with the down. Thank you, very good demonstration, Sparrow. Now again, I can do it on a verbal, but we're gonna do it the old fashioned way, down. Good girl, well done. So I pointed at the floor. It doesn't matter that she got up out of the position, doesn't matter. We're not looking at weights here at this moment in time or stays, we're just asking them to do the position. The stand can be the one that caused people the trickiest problems. Um, with my stand, I could go into a lot about how I teach it. I tend to teach to a nose touch because what happens is the dog gets used to the nose touch and they come out, as you can see, touch, and they start to go into the stand. As we then progress, I then remove it. You can obviously also do it with a lure. So let's get you in a position. Thank you, Spare. Sit, stand. Good girl, look at that. So again, that would be an acceptable way of doing the stand. I would have not the treat in my hand. Sit. Stand. Good girl. So I've got the closed hand. She thinks there's a treat in it, but there's not. So we're getting away from that lure situation. 
And again, she doesn't have to hold that position and minor movements are allowed. So if they shuffle a little bit in the sit, that's fine. It's just a case of seeing them do that immediate position when you ask them to. So let's do a demo and show you what you can do if you get really clever and advanced. So Swift's got the advanced version. She is four and we've done this a lot. So let's see what we're going to do. Okay, ready? Sit. Nice. Down. Gorgeous. Stand up. Good girl. There we've got the advanced positioning. But you don't have to worry about that with your puppy. It's just something you can progress to if you want to. So I hope you've enjoyed this Everyday Canines video. And if you have, you might well subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And I hope to see you all again very, very soon.